all, welcome to John's Ball of Making. Today we've got the Lancaster Bomber, yeah, stage 12, excellent. Now there's a fair bit to do in this stage. Here we have the cockpit, looking absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you all remember that, excellent stuff. We've got quite a bit to add on to here. So we'll have a quick look at the instructions. There we go, Lancaster Bomber, stage 12, wireless operator's seat. So we have the wireless operator's seat and back panel, seat back cushion, seat cushion, hydraulic reservoir, rear panel, side cushion, hydraulic reservoir, base section, railing, DPCP, AM screws. There you go, so we'll pop all the parts together, then we get with stage 12, and then we'll pop it onto here, which will go just here. Excellent, now we need the framework. And, yep, we need a framework for the nose cone as well. And we have this light from stage four to pop into place. Here we go, and then there's a frame around that as well. Now, on my wooden version, that is a camera. On this, it's a light. But then again, it's a slightly different version, I would have thought. Unless it's a mistake. But anyway, it's a light in this one, and a camera in mine, wooden version. And then we put the other frame on, and that is completed work. Excellent. And in the magazine, we have the Dam Busters film. And then we have Armstrong Whit with Whitley. There we go. And in the next issue, stage 13, we have a floor section and crew screws. <laughs> Cruise and gains screws on my mind. <laughs> oh, that's because I've ordered them. Um, was it a seven man crew Tory factory off eBay? The price came in for me, so that was brilliant. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the build. Okay, okay, here we have the parts. Okay, okay those are our parts. So we'll need these pieces first. We'll pop them to one side. Those are the screws. And we will need these pieces. This is a little armrest, um, which will go on here. These are small pegs and large pegs. We'll put that on in a minute. And what we do need to identify which is which. I would imagine that is a back rest there. Again, I think them two pegs are the same, but it's got a curved back there. And this one is the bottom cushion. You see one peg is bigger than the other. So the first thing we can do is put that just there. Ooh. Nice. I don't think we need any glue for that for definite. <laughs> and now we have the armrest. And I think it goes that way. Looking at it. One peg should be slightly bigger than the other, which it is. So we're only going one, one way. And that's got a nice and bonny. Now we need the back rest. Which will only go one way because it goes with the curvature. Oh, that part there looks like a nice and body that lovely jubbly now we need this piece the back panel and again there we go three pegs three lugs we'll only go on one way again we don't need any glue for that that's gonna nice and tight brilliant close that up there yeah, that's fantastic, that. Now, we need the hydraulic reservoir, 12D, and base section, 12G. This will go on to here, like so. This should just be a push-fit connection. It is, again, you won't need any glue for that whatsoever. And this, basically, will go into there. Now... I think we'll need to glue that in. Yeah, at least that will need to glue that piece in. I have got some glue with a little brush on it. So I can just brush a little bit of glue on to here. There we go. Normally I would use tube, super glue in a tube, but uh, I picked this up the other day because I wasn't in pound stretcher. Uh, I usually get all my glue from Pound Stretcher. It's only a pound a go, obviously, but you need Pound Stretcher. There we go. Pop that into place. Just there, like so. I have to hold that. 
like that set there we go that's how that looks brilliant give that a minute or two well i've started setting we got the cockpit pop that to one side now i think i've got one or two of these pieces a bit loose so i need to glue these yeah the pilot seat i think everything is loose actually there we go yeah so i'll get these glued in back with you in a sec there we go everything is now glued into place there brilliant there we need to get this um wireless operators seat in place there's two grooves there slots and it will just sit in there and get it lined up correctly pointing in the wrong place let's see there we go that's how it goes excellent you can see the detail for that reservoir so i'll get that glued into place now there's just a little bit of glue Does set really well this glue as well. Get that lined up there and pressed into place. Excellent. Oh, brilliant. Love the detail on this, it's fantastic. Now, once I get my crew members, be able to pop, in, pop, pop them all into place. We do get, I would imagine we get a pile of, but I'm not sure about the rest of them. Okay, next we need this part of the frame cockpit wall interior cockpit wall and uh, four screw holes one two three four yeah see how then and basically that will go just there like that and we pop that together with am screws let's get the first screw into place pinch a little bit of oil on the end of that because we're going into metal of course There we go, that's all four AM screws in place. That's looking fantastic already. Huh? Absolutely loving this model. Next thing we need is this piece. This is a frame for uh, the nose of the plane. That will go onto here. And we want one, two, three CP screws to keep that into place. No need for oil this time because we're going into plastic. Just don't press down too hard. Excellent. Now we need this light. And I believe that goes that way in to here. Now this is going to be falling games, is it not? And we have a frame as well. Now this frame to hold it into place. So basically, this light, there's a little, whether you can see it or not, there's a little groove there and there for the light. Yeah, it just sits into the two grooves. So the end there will sit like that. Yep, yeah, and then the frame will sit over the top of it in to those two holes right, so that will go there like that and it should basically clamp the light into place that's not going to be easy is it okay 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 now. so first thing we need to do is to pop that cable through that hole we'll take that out we have to glue these into place as well so we can pop the cable through there like that and then position that that way around and it will rest just there like so like that yeah and then we put the clamp into them other two holes well it looks like a clamp i think it's a frame really that um like i said before on my wooden version this is a camera not a light so um yeah do we glue that in first it would make sense to glue this into place first and then glue the frame over the top 
So I'll pop a bit of glue there, a bit of glue there, pop that out of the way, and now we can pop this into place. There we go, that's that light in place, and make sure you get it angled correctly as well. It is taking a little bit longer than usual, but that glue to set for that. Okay, no, now we need to get this bracket into place, 12H. There are two holes at the bottom of the frame, and we can just use the tweezers. There we go, pop it into place. We need some super glue on the end of those two legs of that frame. There we go, you can squeeze it in. Excellent. There we go, there's that bracket in place over that light. Just make sure you get the angle of the light correct. That is now glued into place. It's taken a while to set off and just route the cable through that frame like that. That is nicely glued into place. Okay, up next, we need this piece. We got one, two, three, four AM screws, and we have a DP screw, which is that silver one, um, to pop into place as well. So that will go there, and we'll get the AM screws in first. And we'll use a little bit of oil on AM screws. And obviously this will connect up with the other piece just there like so and we'll get the dp screw in here through there we may have to glue this end as well to keep it all nice and tight together as you can see there we'll get the am screws in first be mindful of the lens When I say a lens, I meant the light. Get the last of the AM screws in here. And right, then we need this DP screw. Keep that nice and bonny like that. Get that DP screw into place. There we go. Oops, there's. <laughs> I shouldn't have fallen, mate. Eh? That's something else I forgot to glue into place. Well, there we go. That is everything in place now. That handrail I've just glued back into place. Uh, but yeah, I've not glued here yet. I might just wait a little, see what else we actually put around this place because there's a hole there. Looks like it's designated for something. But that is brilliant. That is stage 12 complete. That was very fiddly. <laughs> that light and like I said in the wooden version it's the camera well there we go brilliant excellent stuff so there we go folks that is it that is stage 12 the cockpit is looking absolutely fantastic the level of detail is incredible um, absolutely loving it this doesn't move obviously this light not now it's glued into place anyway would have been difficult for it not to be glued into place because that frame above it um just well it doesn't actually clamp it down it just just sits on top of it and you've got to glue that into place anyway but uh anyway it's in place that's fantastic and everything else is now glued down excellent stuff there we go so that is stage 12 completed stage 13 and 14 and up on my channel as soon as possible but anyway there we go thanks for tuning in and watching if you did like that give us a big thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time for stage 13 Bye for now.